What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. Uh, but before we jump into that, just a quick comment on some people asked me if I picked up anything during Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, so a couple things, and although it's past Cyber Monday at this point, um, but yeah, I picked up a few more of these Charizard UPCs. Uh, there were a couple opportunities to get them for about like a little less than $100, uh, a little bit more after tax. And from GameStop, I think it was like 90 but you can only buy one. And then same thing with these Picaron boxes. Uh, for 30 bucks, I think it's a good deal, but um, you know, not sure how long-term Either of these will be, it'll be interesting to see just because the supply is so abundant. Um, and actually right now there's like a Costco tin thing for like $50, you get like four tins, which is pretty good. And all right, so let's get into the PSA. But yeah, if there's any other big deals that you picked up, uh, just let me know, I'm curious what was out there. All right, so let's talk about the review or the returns. Uh, I feel like this is a good mix of solid returns and um, some, ooh, that was rough. <laughs> should, this should not have been graded. And um, so then some really nice hits. I think this is still kind of like the bulk stuff from when it was $10. I think I got these in the last day possible. Uh, so even if it's a terrible grade, it's okay. It only cost me 10 bucks. So let's get started. Here we got a, some vintage to start it off. Um, a Vaporeon, only an excellent min six. So I think this is an example of I would not grade this card again for 18 or even $15. I just don't think it's worth it, but $10, sure. Anything Watsy, to be honest, um, I can probably live with, even if the value will never be there. It's kind of like that Venomoth. But actually, here's where we start getting, yeah, this was probably a mistake. We got a Victory Bell at a four. Ooh, that back is terrible. So, you know, hindsight is always 20-20. And this actually 2020 is probably when I submitted these. So it's from a long time ago. Five there. All right, eights are totally fine by me. And quickly moving on to jungle aerodactyl number one. Articuno with just a seven, but definitely I'd be even content with a six for an Articuno. Eight on the ditto is pretty good. Gengar, very nice. The Hunter. Yeah, so anything seven or above Watsi is. Yep, all day. I think when it comes to $15, $18, my bar would be, or if I get below, eh, seven is like kind of like the borderline. Anything lower was, you know, probably not worth it in my opinion, unless there's obviously sentimental value or something. And then eight for vintage cards is a-okay. Zapdos. Oh, I didn't see a Moltres, so we don't got, ooh, we got some Yu-Gi-Oh. We didn't get all the birds. All right, so let's see. This is the maximum goal. Ooh, we got a perfect 10. Gem Mint 10 on the red eyes. Yeah, I do mix in some Yu-Gi-Oh every once in a while. I feel like just getting some of the iconic cards. There's so many versions of these that, you know, oh, they know this maximum gold is kind of a cool variant. But sometimes when there's like different arts, it is tempting to submit them. Uh, this is actually one of the bigger hits from this set, the Legendary Collection. And um, for, I think, a box that, that box costs like $200 to get one of the better cards or more sought after cards. And, eh, the 8 is a little disappointing. Not sure why. Yu Gi Oh! is kind of hard to tell. Um, so happy with the card. A little disappointed by the grade. All right, back to uh, back to Yui. Back to Pokemon. Uh, we do anything evolutions that's not, you know, the base set art Charizard is actually that. Even that's like 10. It's. 10 or bust. Um, and then all these, I'm sure there's so many copies out there, but we got a 10, so all good. We got Eternatus V Max. Um, someday I want to talk a little bit more about Eternatus and the dogs. Like, just so many different variants of this card. Just, you know, I think this is pretty, pretty weird Pokemon, but also pretty cool, some potential, but just so many variants of the same artwork just drove it down to the ground um oh very happy with this this is a promo so once upon a time you could pick up these great alt arts via tins and really happy to get the 10 and um yeah this was maybe one of the earlier instances like wow they gave such a nice promo in one of those uh like um, tins and that kind of thing just a really nice art because the mew is having a blast and mewtwo just really annoyed all right and then um you know i think Every once in a while, I'll just pick up a bunch of secret rares at bulk, but bulk by I mean by like cost less than $15. Um, thought was like, you know, if I bought a booster box and I got one secret rare, um, it's kind of like par for the course. So pick one up, pick them up for like 10, 15 bucks is a great deal in my opinion. This one only got the nine. And here we go to some unique promos. The on of the ball. So there's 
Eevee, the new starters, or the Sword and Shield starters, and then Pikachu. Eevee was the first one, I believe. Uh, I have no idea how these cards will do. Um, I feel like the promos aren't great, but they are kind of unique. And uh, yeah, so we got 10 and a 9. All right, moving on to some cool Japanese stuff. We got the Shibuya Pikachu. Really like that art. I feel like this card probably isn't anything special special like um, you know value wise uh, it's probably I actually have no idea but um, especially at a nine but really cool art I think I think like you know e now all the ones that are pretty recent um, there's probably a good amount of pop out there and then you probably get them for pretty good prices and just very unique arts and this is I think one of the better ones all right we got ultra shiny GX the Japanese version, or the Hidden Fates Japanese version, uh, at Gem Mint 10. Uh, when this set first came out, I think I picked up so many of these from Japan. I think at like $70 a pop, so it's just like, yep, just keep sending them in. Um, oh, actually, uh, shout, first off, shout out to patrons out there. And if you are interested in sending anything, anything out for this um, end of the year special, just um, hit me up. Let me know, and I do want to get everything in by the next week or so. Get everything submitted, ready to be submitted by mid-December. Uh, just because, you know, end of the year, there's going to be a lot going on. Red's Pikachu. I think everyone should have even a PSA 10 version of this card. Very unique art, and this, there's so many out there. I think you could pick these up for, like, five, eight dollars, less than 10 for sure at once upon a time, and really easy to grade. Um, plenty of 10s out there. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful card. So I feel like, you know, raw version, nine ver PSA 9 will be super cheap. PSA 10, obviously, a little bit more, but I don't think it's that bad. And for such a unique card that I doubt at this point in 2018, it's not going to be printed in English. It's the only version. Definitely get your hands on one. All right, we do have a base set turtle. So Blastoise, any base set starter, sure, even a five. Um, I don't think I'll be sending anything else that is likely to get a five. Well, this looks better than a five. Maybe this is like a dent something. Um, I'll still send those in. Actually, maybe I won't. I don't know. If I thought it could get a seven, I'd probably send it in. And man, I have so many of these. Never got the ten. This one looks pretty good. Centering, not perfect. So no surprise there. Um, but I did buy one from a patron that opened one in a break. And I felt that one's like perfect. Ooh, this, is this it? Like this thing looks so good. But I never got the 10. I'm not sure which it was, but yeah, never got the 10, even though when I was pretty confident. Uh, another beautiful car. This is like an illustration uh, contest kind of thing. So many of these printed, very nice, very low, uh, low price. Recommend you pick one up. Just a very unique looking Charizard and you can get it on the cheap. You know, will it go up? Probably at a snail's pace, just because there's so many out there, you know, but I think it's worth having in the collection. And you know what, if, if I don't, again, I don't think even 10, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. So if, if the 10 is still out of your budget, just pick up a nine just to have the card because it's great. Same thing with this guy. Um, awesome card this card was literally free <laughs> with the purchase you got the ornament you got the pikachu and um actually i don't know where these prices are at because i think 10 is actually quite hard to get here we have two eights uh another oh wow a lot of eights let's see all right we did get a nine i think i have at least one ten but as you can see like the centering oh this is really annoying back looks good front Actually, no, the front looks pretty good, too. Well, I'm not sure what's wrong with this one. But, um, yeah, a little difficult to get the 10. All right, so we didn't get a 10 in this set. I think I might have one 10 out of probably graded over 10. Oh, definitely double digits, maybe close to 20. Very nice card here. Mewtwo um, Reverse from Legendary Collection. Ooh, I have a big, big Legendary Collection card coming up in the next video. Uh, which is the first wave of like, I can't remember if it was $18 or $15, whatever the special was at the time. Those cards, they come back. Uh, vintage, so we got Fossil, Raichu, PSA 8, perfectly happy with that. Lapras 9, that's pretty good. I think this is supposed to be a very hard card to get a 10. This thing looks pretty good, but... Um, yeah, I think there is value there, but that's because it's so hard to do. Um, so I, I'm sure like, I bet the pop report is... 
don't know, 50 to 1 to 10 to 9 or something like that. Very nice card here. Only a 5. This is like on the border of, all right, was this worth grading? $10 sure, other, moving forward? Probably not. Um, you know, I think this is probably a beautiful binder card, but... You know, the kind of like the early shinies, uh, Neo Rev with the Golden Magic card. Very cool card. That evolves into this guy, the Red Gyarados. Um, love this card. Like that, the Fisherman's having a tough day. So I do like this card and the Magic card. I think I probably uh, lean towards the Gyarados. Speaking of Gyarados, here we go to some awesome cards. I've... I think I'm basically out of these raw, where starting 2018, I would just buy raw cards, and then come 2018, finally sent them all to PSA, and now I'm basically out. And with the mark, way the market is, I'm probably not gonna get back to buying singles. Not sure what to do these days. But this is the Gyarados. Um, Pancho Pikachu Gyarados, very disappointed with the nine. These things are almost always just nine or 10, and I can never tell why. <laughs> why they're one way or the other but lovely card and to go with the Gyarados we obviously got the Magikarp also a nine I feel like within this oh actually I see a little nick up here all right so this one yes definitely a nine I feel like the Gyarados look pretty good and I think yeah we got two of these so despite um so like the we are spoilers uh, there's a Charizard version and it came with an additional card and I'll, some of them came with like a regular shaped card and then there was like a full art version uh, for whatever reason the Charizard ones just came with this random Pikachu <laughs> just kind of weird um, glad it got tens but uh, definitely um, kind of strange but I mean happy with the grade but yep here is the full art what a beautiful card I think these have been going up quite a bit and very happy to get a 10. I do have a set already, so this is my second one and really happy with this. This is definitely a home run, the home run of this submission and to go along with it, the regular Mega Charizard Y. Um, I recently went to the Pokemon, or the, actually it was the Nintendo store in New York City and they had a plush of this i ended up getting like the statue of liberty one uh but i don't know just it, it didn't do like compared to this card that plush did not do it justice but very beautiful card right here and um yeah very happy to add that to the collection Ooh, very nice vintage card here kind of um happy mixed feelings about the seven obviously i would have hoped for higher but seven's probably appropriate and any dark charizard hollow first edition it's all good this one, if it was like a four, I'd still be like, eh, it's probably okay. Ooh, actually, I forgot about this card. Um, random gold star. We got a Vaporeon at a near mint to mint eight. Very happy with that. Um, basically, at this point, raw gold cards and uh, raw shinies that I have, like um, that are that are older, uh, they're probably all like five or below. So I've ran out of stuff to submit. So I'm happy to get an eight. And almost always with every uh, submission, oh, this is legendary collection, but I always submit a handful of base Charizards. This one's legendary collection, only a five. Makes sense. Another Dark Charizard Hollow. This one's unlimited, but an eight. Base set two. If you're looking for uh, the cross section or the intersection of old and cheap, base set two is what you're looking for. And now we're moving on to something modern, the Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, this was the, what, the original, are these character rares? Or, they're, they're basically the character rares. Um, and the, kind of like the first version modern of it. And um, I thought they were cool. I'm not, I think I probably graded most of them. Uh, this was one of the, the cooler ones, I think. Unfortunately, got the nine. Then we have a bunch of, eh, I guess it's cool, Magnemite. Bunch of nines. So I'm sure if I did want to complete these, I would just go to secondary market. This one I am happy with. We got the turtle in the 10, Flannery and Torkoal. And this is also another one I liked, Dawn and Piplup. Very cool. And it, I feel like, you know, obviously these weren't tag teams, but it, it, during that tag team era, like, I don't know, I thought that this, this theme went well. Was this Lana Wishy Washy, I think? Just a nine. So the, we only got two tens, but the ones that I did get tens were 
if I had to pick, those would be the ones I would choose. Very nice vintage card here. Unfortunately, only got the six. Ooh, I feel like this looks pretty good from the back. Maybe there's a decent scratch or slight dent or something. Actually, dent is usually five, so not sure why this card is so low. I feel like the edges are not terrible. I feel like this is... I'll have to take a closer look, but I feel like this is probably worthy of at least a seven. All right, and here are those base set Charizards I always end my submissions with. Uh, five feels kind of tough, but what can you do? Six, and the days of pulling in easy nines is long gone. We got this very good three. Three is about like, eh, maybe this should not have been submitted. And it gets even worse. We got wrapping up this submission with a good two. Not even the very good. Um... But yeah, so this is should be the last submission of all the cards I sent at the bulk rate of $10. And so we have two one submission that's back and one more at PSA for the, the recent specials and reminder to patrons. If you do want to submit anything, just let me know and get those cards to me ASAP so I can make sure they get in on time. And that's going to be it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'm Warren Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.